Hello, my name is Razvan, and in this tutorial we will we will gonna see how to install uh, Laravel Homestead with Vagrant in Windows 10. First of all, we need to go to Laravel website, um, laravel.com, and we need to go to doc documentation. And if you scroll down, we get the get started option, and then we should go and click Homestead. So here we're gonna follow those steps to install Laravel in uh, Laravel Homestead in Vagrant. So first of all, the documentation first step is. Um, it says that we need virtual one of the virtualization softwares which can be VirtualBox, VMware, Parallel and so on. We will install VirtualBox. So we should go to the web page of VirtualBox, which is this one. So if you click on that link, it should send you this to this page. And based on your system, operating system, you should choose, choose one of the options. So I will choose the Windows host. Then the, the other thing you need is Vagrant. If you click on this link, they will send you to this web page, which allows you to download the option you have uh, for the system you have. So I will click on this link, 64 bits from Windows. And um, another thing we will need it's, uh, will be it will be Git, which is you can find it in this link. So you, if you type in Google Git, uh, you should go to this link, and this link will provide uh, us with a download. So if you click on here, you're gonna get a Git installation. So it's just simple installation. Just click next, next, and uh, it will be installed very easily. And uh, another option is uh, for uh, IDE a code editor, which um, in my case I will use code. Uh, Visual Studio Code, which is a free one, a Microsoft uh, free uh, option. Uh, this is very powerful, very very cool tool. Uh, but you can use whatever you have, um, NetBeans, Sublime, um, whatever you like. Okay, let's start it. Um, to, to be able to save a little bit of time, I just uh, downloaded it already and install all these um, all these tools. Except Vagrant, I have installed all other options. So I will start installing the Vagrant. And um, the installation is just just simple installation. Just next, accept the term condition. Just next, next, and install it. And this is straightforward. Yeah. Okay, now once the installation is done, just click finish. And they ask me to restart the computer, so we will do that and come back after the restart has been done. Okay, so once the system is restarted, um, the next step, we should open a git bash, a common prompt, yeah. Um, or a common prompt, you can, you can use the git bash here. Yeah. And we should um, see if we, if we got Vagrant install, install it, and we should type Vagrant version. And uh, as you can see, we got it installed already. Okay, the next step, let's follow the instruction for this for this um, installation. So what they said, now after we install this, we need to add the Homestead box to the Vagrant installation. So installing the Homestead Vagrant box. So we can do that by adding, by typing this command, so just copy and paste it. Yeah, just copy, paste it, enter. And now this box should be added to the Vagrant installation. This uh, box is, um, Already, it, it is a box, a virtual box, already built for the Laravel installation, uh, for the Laravel framework. Sorry, but this is including all these tools, all this uh, software already, and um, this um, is good because if you want to share the project with other developers and um, if they need this kind of tools, so you just pass them, or they have just have to install the Homestead box, and they will be able to test the, the project without having to do research and you know uh, try to replicate the, the environment system you got already. So that's the cool thing uh, about Homestead, about Vagrant, you know. Okay, let's see if it's... Okay, now once the box is added, we should follow the steps on, on the web page. Let's, let's see what they say. So you may install Homestead by cloning the repository. So that's why we have uh, we had to install Git because we need to clone, use a Git command to clone uh, this repository. So uh, we should clone this in our uh, home directory. Yeah? So we are already, so if we do pwd, so this is my home directory, so I will add this um, Homestead repository in my home, but I would like to add it in a, in a folder, in, in a specific folder, so I'm not going to do it directly to the Homestead, but instead of creating this folder, uh, Homestead, I would prefer to create another one, Projects Laravel, so this will be inside the Project Laravel folder, and then Homestead. So I if I click Enter, uh, if I go to my computer, C, and uh, Users, and this is my home directory, yeah? now you will see a Project Laravel pro uh, um, directory. So, as you can see, it's created here, and uh, if we go inside, we have the homestead. Yeah. Okay, once it's done, what they said, you should check out the, ta uh, the target version of homestead, since the master branch may not allow, uh, always, always be stable. Okay, let's do that also. So, if you go CD projects, projects Laravel homestead, we are in this folder, and we, ha we are in the master branch. Now, we, we, we need to do git checkout and paste this one. Let's do that. Okay, now we are in the release branch. Okay, the next step, we need to initialize the project. It says once you once you have cloned the homestead repository, run the 
bash init dot uh, sh command from the homestead directory to create homestead yaml file configuration. Now this is uh, creating the configuration file for the for this um, homestead. Yeah. Um, as you can see, we have those files. But if we run this command, so this they saying for Mac you should run this command. For Windows you should run this one. But if, if we run this one, even if if we are in Windows, I think this is not going to work because um, I'm not sure why. But because we use git bash, we need to use this command. So just copy this command and paste it here. And this, uh, look at these files. This will generate some extra files. So as you can see, they added more files here. You can see Homestead in, in initialize, initialize it. Okay, so now what do we need to do is just edit this Homestead YAML file and um, add some configuration over there. So let's do that. Let's edit this. I'm going to edit it with Visual Studio Code. And here, um, we can comment that if you want. These are the SSH keys to access this virtual machine, um, this server. But let's let's create those ones also. Um, in the documentation, we don't have the commands for to do that. But I will provide that command. Uh, that um, okay. Just type this this command line, and this will generate the SSH keys. So if we go to the home directory, we will gonna have dot uh, SSH directory generated by this command, yeah. which will contain the private and public key. Okay. Let's enter. So this is the, the where it will be generated. This is the root. So as you can see, it's here now already. And just leave it empty. The pass phrase. Enter, and that's it. Okay. Now this step is done. The next step, and that I think where it's a little bit confusing, is this part. So the folder and the sites. Um, <clears throat> first of all, what we need to do is uh, specify the root where our project will be in, in the Windows system. So in in, in this case, in, in it's Windows, but maybe you have Mac or whatever you have. So um, not in the virtual, uh, but in the in the main machine. Yeah main system. So for me, I would like to do in C, I have project Laravel. So this is the folder I created. You can create whatever you like, but I will want to keep um, organize my project and I would will, I will like to keep it on this project, uh, on this folder. So it will be this folder and I will copy this root and paste it here. So this will be the root to to my projects. Yeah. And but just change the slash here. Okay. And uh, this folder will map to the virtual machine, to the homestead machine. Yeah. So the homestead machine will contain this will be like the home directory and this will be the folder where this uh, uh, so this one will be sy synchronized with this one so the virtual machine for this folder in virtual machine will be synchronized with this folder in the in the main machine okay so i know i will create i would like to have the same name in the host, um, homestead machine so i will do the same and this will be like this so uh, i will show you the folders then when we will start the machine and you will understand it better yeah and the next part sites this is the um, the domain uh, which you you're going to use to to access the the project yeah the, the in in the browser so we we will leave it like this but you can create whatever name you like and this is where this domain is pointing yeah so will be all this root yeah but instead i will do like um let's the project one or whatever you like to call your first project i will do project one just just for testing yeah just just to uh, understand so and in laravel to be able to access the, the project you need to point to the public folder yeah in the laravel installation but don't worry because this is not created already but we're going to create a project uh, a laravel project with this name okay so leave the the setup like this and uh, you will better understand when we're going to initiate the um, power up the machine the machine and then access it through the browser uh, another thing we we will need to do is um, add this domain to the uh, host file in, in in the windows machine so let's do that um, to be able to edit this host, you need to um, open it as an administrator. So let's let's go to C, Windows, um, System32, Drivers, ETC, Hosts. So you need to add to this um, to this file. You need to specify the IP and the domain name to be able to access it through the browser. So let's edit this. I'm gonna edit it with notepad uh, and then I will need to add this IP copy so just add another line here <coughs> just paste and then add the name of the domain so you can add whatever you want yeah and every time you add a new site you need to add those names and IP here and remember if I want to save now it's asking me it's asking me to, to open it as administrator so um, <coughs> you can you can open notepad just type here Notepad, Notepad, and just open it as administrator. Run as administrator, and now, now you you are able to edit it. Yeah, so you can now do this. Yeah, and enter. 
Oh, I, I have added before and it was saved. Okay, so now save and now you can see you can save it. Yeah, so it's easy to save. Okay, let me just delete this and leave it as it was before. Okay, now we should run um, uh, run the virtual machine. For that, we just need to type vagrant up. Yeah. So now the machine should start. Okay, now the machine is started and we have to access it. Yeah. Uh, we should type now Vagrant SSH and now we got access to the virtual machine, to the Homestead machine. So, you see, the machine is started now and um, if we do PWD, you see, as I said, we are in the Vagrant homes, Homestead, yeah? And because we have RG set up, now we should have also the project Laravel inside. So, uh, let's do LS. So, as you can see, we have the project Laravel folder as it is here. But this, if we go inside of this project Laravel, and we do ls, it's empty, it's nothing there. So we miss this part, yeah? Because this domain, if we go and access this through the browser, should, we, we should have, so we should have the website, the Laravel here, but it's not installed already. So let's do that. No input file specified, okay. Now let's let's uh, install Laravel in this um, project Laravel folder and we'll, we will give it, uh, give the name of project one. Okay, so now let's go to the browser and see how is the installation. If, it, if it's, we scroll up and click installation, we should see here, how the installation will be done. So first of all, we need to do this command. And let's do it. Composer global require Laravel installer. Let's do that. Doesn't matter where we, where you can, where you want to paste this command. So you don't have to be in a specific folder. So if we do that, now this will install everything necessary for the Laravel installation. And then we will be able to install and create a new project. Okay, now it's done. And let's do the next. The next thing we have to do is Laravel new blog. Uh, blog is the name of the project you, you would like to create yeah so let's see let's copy this line copy and go to the um, to this um, uh, command line <clears throat> and see for example now you will see how after we're creating this folder the project will get automatically um, those folders um, synchronize it yeah so this folder project Laravel which is this one um, sorry which is this one will be synchronized with the that one from the homestead uh, box okay let's do that but instead of uh, leave, uh, instead of um, block, we should put our name as it is here because we decided to put this name here. Copy project one and paste it. And now we will create a project, a Laravel project, call it project one. Press enter. And now the installation will start. As you can see, it's already synchronized. Yeah. This is uh, in Windows. Yeah. But that one uh, will be in the, in the Homestead machine. So those two folders, those two directories, project Laravel will, will uh, will be every time you add something or remove something will be synchronized or so will be whatever you're going to have in the Windows directory whenever you got to have something in this one you're going to have the similar the same in the, in the homestead box I hope it makes sense um, because uh, this part was a bit confusing for for me at least at the beginning when I try to do that but um, hopefully this makes sense uh, for for other people when they, they try to, to do this configuration okay now the installation is done if we open this folder you see you have everything that fra that this framework needs to be able to run and this is the, the project in look uh, in the windows and if we do ls this is the homestead machine if we do home uh, and we got a project one cd in project one and do ls here you see a little ls la you got everything the same as is in this folder so as i said those two f uh, folders are synchronized one thing i want to mention oh let's see let's see first if it's working now let's see if we go here and do refresh now this should work because it's already started. As you can see, the project now is working because um, um, so to be able to access the framework, um, the project Laravel project, you need to access the public folder in the index, yeah, which is done on here. So this is this domain is pointing in public in this public folder, which is as I said, this one, but in the in the in the Homestead machine. Okay, let's and this is how you install um, Laravel in Laravel Homestead in Homestead using Vagrant in, uh, in Windows 10. One thing I want to mention, just to don't be confused, because I give the same name. Um, so you have projects Laravel, where you're going to keep all your projects and create your sites and and, and then then <clears throat> this will um, uh, like point to, actually here you're going to keep the projects, but this project, uh, they will be um, synchronized with this folder. So those two folders are synchronized here. Yeah? Whatever you, uh, every time you're going to add new project, this will be fine here. So <clears throat> um, I have give the name, I'm just, show you i have given the name the similar name in, in here which is 
project Laravel, yeah, where I'm keeping the homestead, the boxes. So this is the folder where I'm keep, keeping the boxes, yeah? the virtual boxes. In this case, the homestead box for the vagrant. There's nothing to do with the, the one um, I'm keeping the projects, yeah, which is the seminar. I mean, you can give whatever name you want, but I, I don't know why I've done this. <clears throat> but don't be confused. This is this is the place where you keep the projects, yeah, and this one is the place where you keep the boxes. So this is the the the, the thing I was to mention because I, I I was thinking maybe you'll be confused by the name, but don't be confused. This is th there are two different places. Okay, that's all for this tutorial. So this is how you install uh, Laravel Homestead in Vagrant uh, using Vagrant in Windows 10. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next one.